So now we'll discuss about the multicast channel and the downlink physical signals. So multicast channels. So this is a multimedia broadcast and multicast services. Okay, we say it is the MBMS. Okay, multimedia broadcast and multicast services. In this case, or in this services, it will send the same content information to all the user equipments that we call it as broadcast or it will be given to a uh, set of user equipments that we call it as multicast okay so this type of service exists so one example is that mobile tv okay another example for this is uh, digital video broadcasting okay. terrestrial digital video broadcasting that is dvbt so these are two some examples of uh, applications where this uh, uh, service is used that is mbms multimedia broadcast and multicast services so what i said here from enb right from e node b same content of information will be transmitted to all the user equipments so that we call it as broadcast <coughs> to say it is multicast only to a given set of user equipments the same content of information is transmitted okay so this uh, multimedia broadcast and multicast service transmission can originate either from a single base station or from a multiple base stations okay so uh, this service is usually preferred from multi cell transmission because from the multi cell transmission, it is possible to have a large gain through soft combining of the transmissions for multiple base stations. So, because of this, <coughs> sorry, multi cell transmission is preferred compared to a single cell base station. So, what is the problem in this? Here, the design of the receiver complexity is very big, means the receiver has to receive signals from multiple base stations okay so while doing that it may face intersymbol interference and as well as intercell interference also so design of a robust receiver is a big challenge in this actually this uh, service was provided in utra that is universal terrestrial radio access network so which is a 3g standard and uh, the design requirement of LTE was to enhance this MBMS service. Okay, so in LTE, uh, this MBMS can be enhanced through uh, a single frequency network operation, that is SFN. Okay, so how do we achieve this? Right, in case of LTE, because in LTE we use uh, in the downlink as OFDM. Right, OFDM is the modulation. So it is possible to combine over the air of multicast or broadcast transmissions from multiple base stations with an extended CP, that is extended cyclic prefix. So specifically, this extended CP configuration is used for this MBMS service. Okay. So in this case, so the extended CP is used as a propagation delay for multiple cells and it will be larger than the delay spread of the single cell right so with the extended cp feature in lte it is possible to have enhanced multimedia broadcast multicast service with single frequency network operation so mbsf that is a multicast broadcast single frequency network as I said, the same information is broadcast on the same radio resource from multiple synchronized neighboring base stations to multiple user equipments. This is what uh, the MBSFN is, right? So here, already told about this example, and uh, especially this enhanced 
multicast, uh, multimedia broadcast, and multicast service transmission uh, in LTE is done on MCH transport channel. So MCH means multicast channel. So this is one transport channel with uh, 7.5 kilohertz carrier spacing and the extended cyclic prefix. Okay. Uh, so here there are two types of uh, enhanced uh, multimedia broadcast and multicast service transmissions. So one is a single cell transmission and is also known as non MBSF in operation. So MBSF means what? Uh, multicast broadcast single frequency network operation, right? So another one is multi cell transmission. So we call that as MBSF in operation. In case of non MBSF in operation, okay, this MBMS means uh, multimedia broadcast multicast service which is uh, transmitted on the multicast channel. So we here we use a multicast traffic channel and as well as multicast control channels for that. Okay. So in a non-MBSFN, combining of MBMS transmission for multiple cells is not supported. Okay. In case of multi-cell transmission, the MBMS service okay, is transmitted synchronously on the multicast channel. And here the combining is supported with the single frequency network operation. Yeah. And how which channel will indicate and all other things are discussed here. Okay. The broadcast control channel means BCCH will indicate whether there is one MCCH per cell for cell specific transmission. Okay. Or there is MCCH sent on the MBSFN area for non cell specific transmission that will be indicated by the bcch so it indicates bcch means broadcast control channel indicates whether there is one or none that is mccs means multicast control channel per cell for cell specific transmission or there is mcch sent in mbsf in area for non cell specific transmission Okay. Since this MBSFN transmission uses point to multi point mode, so the user equipment feedbacks like acknowledgement or negative acknowledgement, this positive acknowledgement and negative acknowledgement, and channel quality indicator cannot be used here. Okay. <coughs> and uh, only single antenna port transmission is supported for uh, physical multicast channel. And uh, this uses the antenna port 4. And uh, some special reference signals are defined for this MBSFN transmission. Okay. And uh, this uh, physical multicast channel and a downlink shared channel can be multiplexed with certain rules. Okay, those rules are the first one is uh, MBSFN and downlink shared channel transmission can be multiplexed in a TDM manner okay, on a sub-carrier basis okay, but uh, cannot be transmitted within the same subframe. Since it is a TDM, so it cannot be transmitted on the same subframe. So that is the first rule. Second thing is in the subframe, uh, physical multicast channel is transmitted on a carrier supporting a mix of physical downlink shared channel and uh, physical multicast channel transmissions. Okay. So here up to two of the first OFDM symbols of a subframe can be reserved for non MBSFN transmission. Okay. And uh, those things sh shall not be used for PMCH transmission. That is second one. Third one is in a cell with the four cell specific antenna ports. Okay. So antenna ports, I said antenna port 0, 1, 2, and 3. So they are cell specific antenna ports. Okay, the first OFDM symbols of a subframe are reserved for non MBA7 transmission in the subframes in which the PMCH can be transmitted. Okay. So for non MBA7 symbols, it can use the same cyclic prefix as used for the subframe 0. <coughs> So PMCS, the physical multicast channel, 
cannot be transmitted in subframes 0 and 5 on a carrier supporting a mix of uh, physical downlink shared channel and uh, physical multicast channel transmissions. So I will uh, discuss in detail about this how antenna ports, which reference signal and all in the coming slides. So this is all about uh, uh, this is all about uh, multicast channel. Okay. So next we'll discuss about the downlink physical signals. Okay. So downlink reference signals uh, consists of reference symbols. Okay. So that are intended for downlink channel estimation under the user equipment. So which is required for torrent demodulation. Okay, so this is downlink reference signals consists of what reference symbols that are intended for what purpose downlink channel estimation at the user equipment, right? So which is needed for correct demodulation. So to facilitate this channel estimation process, uh, the reference signals are scattered and are inserted in the resource grid at predetermined intervals. Okay, I will come to that. So at uh, what symbol, at what subcarry frequency, uh, these reference signals are inserted with the different antenna ports and all. Okay, so to say there are three different types of downlink reference signals. One is the cell specific reference signal. Second one is MBSFN reference signals. And third one is user equipment specific reference signals. So these are the three different types of uh, reference signals which are used in the uh, downlink physical signal. Okay. So as I said, uh, the reference signal will have a reference symbol, right? The reference sequence is generated from the pseudo random sequence, right? and uh, with a different initialization for uh, different types of reference signals and uh, only one reference signal is transmitted per downlink antenna port so there are three antenna uh, four antenna ports antenna port 0 1 2 and 3 so for each antenna port only one reference signal will be transmitted so let us consider the first one cell specific reference signals uh, okay, so as I said in uh, cell specific reference signals, okay, means the cell specific reference signals are transmitted in all downlink subframes in a cell supporting non MBSFN transmission. Okay, the cell which supports non MBSFN transmission in that for all downlink subframes we can transmit the cell specific reference signals and. Uh, in the subframe used for transmission with MBSFL. Okay. It means only some specific subframes are used for the transmission of uh, MBSFL. In that case, only the first two OFDM symbols can be used for cell specific reference symbols. Okay. Only the first two OFDM symbols <coughs> Sorry. are used for the cell specific reference symbols. Uh, so this is cell specific reference signals are defined separately for antenna ports 0, 1, 2 and 3. Right? So as we know in LTE, uh, it supports uh, maximum 4 antennas right? and uh, we will transmit the cell specific reference signals. Right? So cell specific reference signals are defined only for the normal subcarrier spacing which is of 15 kilohertz. Okay. Uh, I will come back to this. If I just keep reading this, uh, even not, I will go through the diagram with the example. So this is uh, for antenna port zero. Okay, for antenna port zero, this is the format of the uh, cell specific reference signal. So here, the cell specific reference signal is transmitted in the first OFDM symbol and the fifth OFDM symbol of one slot, right? 
So this is the uh, first wave DM symbol. Okay, L equal to zero, where I written. Then this is the first, uh, the second, third, fourth, and fifth. Next is the fifth wave DM symbol. Okay, in these two, uh, in one slot, first and fifth wave DM symbols are used for transmitting the cell specific reference symbols. So since it is antenna code zero, I am denoting this as R0. Okay. And similarly, this is for second slot. L0 and fifth. Right, one, two, three, four, and fifth. Please note down this. It is very, very important and uh, it is very easy also to understand. See, each box is a resource element and this is complete one, is one resource block. Right, in that I divided one, two slots, right? Slot one and slot two. And I have segregated, means here, uh, even number slots and odd number slots is written. Right? This is complete one subframe. As I said, for antenna port zero, right? First and fifth OFDM symbols are used for transmitting cell specific reference uh, signals. That is in the time domain. So in the frequency domain, okay. So here, see how for how many subcarrier frequencies? This is one subcarrier frequency, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. See for every six subcarrier, it repeats the reference signal repeats in the frequency domain. For every six subcarrier, and in time domain, I said first and fifth volume symbol is used for transmitting the reference cell specific reference signal. And uh, I written here some specific. This one is not used for this antenna port. I hope is it clear for antenna port zero? I said first and fifth OFDM symbol is used for transmitting the cell specific reference signal. I think in the frequency domain, what I said in the first OFDM symbol, so there is a gap of six. Uh, subcarrier frequencies okay, for the first wavedm symbol and for the fifth wavedm symbol gap of one two three means for every right one two three four five six so six subcarrier frequencies means the first the first wavedm symbol the cell specific reference signal transmitted at time slot zero, first wave symbol of subframe, right? And uh, as far as frequency domain is concerned, it repeats for every six subcarrier frequencies. That is for uh, first wave DM. For fifth wave DM symbol, so after three subcarrier frequencies, the cell specific reference signal is transmitted in the frequency domain. I hope is it clear or do you have any doubts? Hello? Hello? Is it clear this diagram? Not audible. People can. Yes, sir. Oh, is it clear this diagram? Yes, sir. So please take it properly. As I said, the cell specific reference signal is transmitted in antenna port. I think is one at a time. Is one. It is for one. And I think it is stuck. I will uh, share the new one. I think. Otherwise, uh, I can stop sharing. Mm, share screen.
Yeah, this is for antenna port zero. Okay, I said uh, first and fifth OFDM symbol in time domain. Okay, first and fifth OFDM symbol. The cell specific reference signal will be transmitted in the frequency domain. So there is a gap of how many sub carrier frequencies? Six sub carrier frequencies. One, two, three, four, five. Sixth one is the again X reference signal. <coughs> that is for first wave symbol. For fifth one, the in the frequency domain, it starts from third sub carrier frequency. This is for antenna port zero, okay. And uh, for antenna port one, it is slightly different. Okay, means a uh, reverse of the previous case. So that is antenna port zero. What was happening? First wave symbol. First, uh, but this one. This first resource element is used for cell specific reference signal, right? It is just reversed in case of antenna port one. So this is not used. See, it starts from uh, the first wave time symbol. Uh, one, two, three, four. The third sub carrier frequency will be using the uh, reference signal. Then one, two, three, four, five, six, six sub carrier frequency from there. So here in the fifth wave time symbol, the first sub carrier frequency is used for transmitting. The cell specific reference signal. Then again, six sub carrier frequencies difference. Mm, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's R1. So similarly for next uh, slot. That into mark indicates that particular sub carrier frequency is not used for this particular port. Okay, this is for antenna port uh, one. Okay, and for antenna port uh, two, uh, it uses uh, <coughs> only the second OFDM symbol. Okay, only the second OFDM symbol. See, first OFDM symbol is not used. In second OFDM symbol, uh, first sub carrier frequency is used. The next six sub carrier frequency is used. So no other uh, uh, wavelength symbols are used for cell specific reference signal for antenna port two. Okay, only the second wavelength symbol. So the next in the next time slot, it will be reverse means uh, third sub carrier frequency is used for transmitting the uh, cell specific reference signal. This is for antenna port uh, two. Okay. So here only here means the number of uh, Reference signals has been reduced when compared to port zero and port one. There are how many in each? Uh, see, two plus four. Four plus four eight was there. Here only four. Two plus two four was there, right? So half of it is reduced. In antenna port uh, three. In antenna port three. Also. Second OFDM symbol is used for transmitting the cell specific reference signal with it starts from third sub carrier frequency. Okay, in the even number slot or R number slot, it starts from first sub carrier frequency. That's why I can say. Okay. So for even number slots, it starts from third sub carrier frequency for second OFDM symbol only. For odd number slot, it starts from first sub care frequency from the second wave of them symbol. So this is for antenna port three. So zero, one, two, three. So please have a, a proper understanding about this. So it is slightly tricky, but it is very easy. Okay, if you understand, uh, it won't take much time. Okay, even number, odd number, which wave of them symbol, and from which sub carrier it starts. Transmitting the cell specific reference signal. So I hope is it clear? Yes, sir. Only Raghav is saying yes. What about others, sir? <coughs> okay. 
Okay, then let us go to the next one that is uh, MB SFN uh, reference signal, right? So MB SFN reference signal. As I said, uh, this MB SFN reference signals are uh, transmitted in uh, subframes allocated for MB SFN transmission. Okay, and uh, it is defined only for extended cyclic prefix and transmitted only on antenna port four. And then port four. So here, in the time domain for even numbered slots, the reference symbols are inserted in the third OFDM symbol for subcarrier spacing of fifteen kilohertz. Okay, so third OFDM symbol. Third OFDM symbol for subcarrier spacing of fifteen kilohertz. For subcarrier spacing of seven point five kilohertz, it is different. <laughs> So I am not taking that only one I am telling only for subcarrier spacing of 15 kilohertz. Okay, as I said in time domain, even numbered slots, the reference symbols are inserted in the third OFDM symbol. For odd numbered slots, uh, reference symbols are inserted in the first and fifth OFDM symbols. Okay, so this is as far as time domain is concerned. So here it is slightly different. Okay, in the first slot. Okay, in one subframe, in the first slot, right, the even numbered or even numbered slots, the reference symbols are inserted in the third OFDM symbol. For odd numbered slots, reference symbols are inserted in the first and fifth OFDM symbols. Uh, this is in time domain. As I said, in frequency domain, uh, the reference symbols are transmitted every two subcarriers. Okay, that is in the first slot. For a zeroth OFDM symbol, that is in second slot, reference symbols are transmitted from second subcarrier. And uh, I will come to this. This is what is the diagram. So don't see about that uh, color. So here, what I have written, you see, I said it is from third OFDM symbol, right? For even numbered slots, first, second, third, right? And uh, for every two subframes, one uh, MBSF reference signal is transmitted. Okay, that is in first slot. And in the second slot, that is for odd number slot. So the MBSFN reference signals will be transmitted in two OFDM symbols. One is the first one, another one is the fifth one, first and fifth. Right? So this is the first one, fifth one. And uh, for the zeroth OFDM symbol, what I can say, the MBSFN reference signal in the frequency domain starts from second subcarrier frequency. Okay, for the fifth OFDM symbol, it starts from first subcarrier frequency. So this is what the difference. So in the first time slot, only one MBSFN reference signal is transmitted. That two with what OFDM symbol? The third OFDM symbol. And in frequency domain, as I said, for every two subcarrier frequencies, it is transmitted. Okay. In the second slot, right, for R number, here for two OFDM symbols, the MBSFN reference signals are transmitted. One is at zeroth OFDM symbol, second one is the fifth OFDM symbol. And in frequency domain, as I said, zeroth OFDM symbol. Uh, from second reference, from second subcarrier frequency, the MBSFN reference signal is transmitted. Okay, for the fifth OFDM symbol, it starts from first uh, subcarrier frequency. And this uh, R4 indicates it is from antenna port 4. I hope you have noted. Then I go to the next one. That is, uh, next one is a user equipment specific reference signals. Okay, so user equipment specific reference signals. Uh, <clears throat> it will support a single antenna port transmission with beam forming for the PDSCH means a physical downlink shared channel and are transmitted on the antenna port 5. Okay. 
So these are transmitted only on the resource blocks upon which the corresponding PDSCH is mapped. As I said, PDSCH will be mapped after <coughs> uh, PDCCH channel mapping. So PDCCH takes uh, first four wavefront symbols. Minimum is one, maximum is four. Right. Rest of the things are used for PDSCH. I said. Okay. So the user equipment specific signal is not transmitted in resource element. In which one of the other physical signals or physical channel is transmitted. So, with normal cyclic prefix, in the even numbered slots, the reference symbols are inserted in the fourth and seventh OFDM symbols. Fourth and seventh OFDM symbol. For odd numbered slots, the reference symbols are inserted in the third and sixth OFDM symbols. Okay. So, this is what uh, this one. So, third. As I said, for uh, even number reference signals, right? Fourth and seventh wavelength symbols. So, first, second, third, this is a fourth R5, where I written, right? This is a fourth wavelength symbol. Then uh, this one is seventh wavelength symbol, R5, right? For even number slots, the user equipment specific reference signals are transmitted in the fourth and seventh OFDM symbol and for R numbered it is uh, from second and sixth right second and sixth oh, sorry. third and sixth third and sixth means this is uh, yeah zero this one two third yeah third and sixth for R numbered slots If you have any queries, you can ask. Last three minutes is left out. So, sir, uh, uh, while counting, sir, if the resource element is not used in the antenna port, also have to count, no, sir. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, that uh, cell has to be counted. Huh? Okay, See, sir. for user specific, user equipment specific reference signal. Right, for even numbered, it is third and seventh. So third means what? This is the first one. Huh? L equal to zero is first one, first symbol. Then second, third. Right. Means here is yes, third with respect to L equal to zero. So this is zero, one, two, and third. In that sense. Means seventh means okay, six. Because it starts from zero to six. Means it is seven symbols. If I say L is equal to one to seven, then uh, uh, fourth and uh, seventh, I can say. Yeah. Yes, sir. So next one I said about uh, from uh, uh, third and sixth, right? Yeah, I think slightly I made confusion here. I think I would have written one only proper this one. Mm, Instead of writing zero to six, then saying uh, third and seventh. Huh? Yes, that has made a little confusion. And, then anything else? This is about user equipment specific signal. Okay. And uh, this is about MBSFN. And uh, these are important, means uh, four ports for uh, cell specific. This is for antenna port zero, antenna port one. Zero and one are more similar, only this reverse. And two and three also similar and reverse. So here in two and three we use a second wavelength symbol, right? In both even and odd number, the cases are different. Okay. So any queries to be asked, you can ask. This is all about uh, downlink reference uh, signals. I think uh, last session I felt a little bit I was fast. I could you grasp all the concepts? I think at the end I told about PBCH, which is a 40 milliseconds duration. I closed there only. Please have a look. So, I hope uh, no queries you asked.
So I will share uh, the questions on these modules. So you can submit the assignment in the Google. So no queries. No, sir. No queries. Okay, even I'm planning to conduct an objective type no? in the next week, I will share in the Google. Huh? So please be prepared for these topics, whatever I've covered so far. I will share the PDF uh, of this 